a small city located in Western Thailand that shares a border with Myanmar to the west, which is the main gateway between two important countries in Southeast Asia. Located just six kilometers from Myanmar, a Thai borderline city, Mysore. Over the past decades, because of political, racial, and military conflicts or extreme poverty in Myanmar, tens of millions of Burmese people have fled their home country in search of more settled and better life in neighboring countries. Accordingly, the majority of them are commonly labeled as refugees or migrants. Despite the status they hold, what we see in both of them is that they are people of concern, stuck in a foreign country, striving for a better life, and facing various dilemmas in their journey to find a place called home. For most Burmese refugees. They live in the refugee camps along the Thai-Myanmar border. At present, there are nine temporary shelters provided by the Thai government. According to the refugees who live in the camp, it takes an extreme long time for them to get refugee status verifications and resettlement. One struggling point here is that the Thai government is neither a signatory to the 1951 Refugee Convention nor to the 1967 Protocol. In other words, the Thai government has no obligation to accept any refugees. However, the number of Burmese refugees in Thailand is enormous. Located in Thai province, Meso is a major migrant hub in Thailand. Migrants largely come for economic reasons and predominantly work in agriculture, construction, and the service industries. They're facing many difficulties and challenges in this foreign country. Language barrier, racial discrimination, and one significant handicap is the education issue for migrant and refugee children. According to World Education's report, nearly 70% of migrant children have migrated to Thailand with their families, as opposed 30% is the children being born in Thailand. Yet, what lies ahead in their future? The Mesut region has 74 migrant schools that started spontaneously to meet the need of the 30,000 migrant children who have crossed the border with their parents from Myanmar. The migrant schools in Mesut mainly have three main problems. Firstly, about the teaching curriculums. The co-founder of a vocational training center for migrant children Teacher John mentioned. Curriculum, curriculum are not the same curriculum. In different curriculum, many curriculum uh, schools are using them different. For example, some are using Thai curriculum, some are using Myanmar, inside Burma curriculum, some are using the NGO. Due to the varying curriculum, the content, speed, and spectrum of students' learning varies which affects on how to monitor their learning process and how to catch up with and adapt to further education after secondary school. The second major problem for Mesut education is teaching quality. Teachers quality as well. Experienced teachers, although they are experienced teachers, they will not teach the migrant school. And in migrant school, the salaries are very low, about 2,000. 500, average 3,000 is not enough, so we cannot cease or maintain the quality teachers. 
Unfortunately, some teachers choose to stay in the migrant schools and being committed to their occupation as teachers, especially teachers for the migrants or refugee children. Neuro School, a primary migrant school located in a rural area near Mesot, this teacher has been teaching in Neuro School for two years. I, I'm teach all subject. Nima, English, Math, Social, and Science. I'm, I'm teach all subjects, so Nima curricula. All Nima migrant, all Nima migrant student is hopeless. I'm teacher. I'm a light. They, I'm light. I'm give to light a little for education. The third main problem is about those refugee or migrant children's future. Teacher Zhong's wife, Teacher A, another teacher of vocational training center, said, "Our migrant children has no futures, no objectives, and even they finish their high school level, they cannot get good job, good salaries." Barely having a chance to go to university is a big concern for refugee or migrant children. Their blocked access to higher education is related to several factors, including the very different curriculums, financial difficulties, language barrier, no legal documents, and so on. Only very few have been lucky enough to enter university. Teacher John used to be the secretary of the Burmese Migrants Education Committee, and highly concerned about the education issue of migrant children.、Uh, since I start teaching, I always thinking about this. So because when I'm teaching, some of the children ask me, "Teacher, if I pass with a great color with high math." Can I join the medical university or can I join the engineering? At that time, we we don't have we don't have a good answer. Seeing their difficulties and needs, he managed to change the dilemma so that Burmese migrant children can also enter universities back in their home country. He wrote a letter to the chief minister of the Korean state, and successfully arranged a meeting with the government of the Korean state. Before, no, and、uh, no one of Myanmar school accept the migrant children. As we try <clears throat> now, they accept the migrant children. If they go back to Myanmar with their family, now they have the chance to attend in every. Parts of the the whole country of Myanmar, they can、uh, get a chance with the proper grade. Although nowadays migrant children's future seems to be brighter than before, the physical learning environment in Mesong Migrant School are still challenged. Principal of Neuro School told us. The children in our school are facing many difficulties. Our school has no fence. We often feel insecure. Thai drones used to throw broken glasses to the school and children. We really need a fence to protect our children and teachers. Other than fences, our students do not have a dining room to have their home brought lunch. During lunch time, students would rush to the lunch rack to get their lunch box. If lucky, some could enjoy their meal in classroom, while others have to endure eating cold meal outdoor with dust and under the burning sun. The food safety and hygiene are faced with severe challenges. We hope to have a dining hall for children to enjoy a peaceful meal. All 
also, many of our students cannot afford the school uniform, which is very dangerous when students wander out of the school. With an identified uniform, kind villagers will bring those young students back to the campus. If students can wear the uniform, Thai people will not look down at our migrant children. My dream. My dream. My dream. My dream. My dream is an engineer. My student. My old business is yeah. a skill worker. Technician and trainer. A good engineer.